Well, we've had some updates from the UK Petrol Retailers Association who say there are signs that the fuel situation is improving. Well, it wouldn't look to be improving by that image that we're showing you there from West London, uh, but far too slowly they do acknowledge. That is uh, North West London, I am told. Um, independent gas stations are not receiving enough deliveries of fuel. And until those independent gas stations get sufficient supplies, we shall continue to see those long queues that we're showing you there from North Northwest London at the forecourts. They have broken down uh, a little bit of data for us there. They say that 47% of sites have both petrol and diesel, uh, but 26% of gas stations, so more than a quarter have run totally dry. Uh, we can see in the images people filling up uh, with jerry cans. They're a sign that uh, things are definitely not getting back to normal quick enough. And 27% of petrol retailers are reporting only one grade of fuel is in stock at their forecourt. So just a flavour of what's going on around the country there. The UK petrol retailers saying that things are improving. Um, it's difficult to see that, certainly looking at the situation here in north-west London, uh, but saying that they are improving too slowly. We'll bring you more on that uh, throughout the course of the day. Meanwhile, we can bring in Sky's Inzaman Rashid, who is at a filling station in Chester. Um, Inzi, we're looking at the situation in north-west London. Certainly doesn't look much improved. What's it like where you are? Yeah, I think it's interesting hearing that from the uh, uh, UK's Pe Petrol Association uh, about signs that things are improving. That's probably looking at a nationwide picture. And when you come out of London, in particular, the, the city centre, you probably do see that things have been improving, particularly here in the north of England over uh, the last uh, a few days or so. There haven't been as many queues as we saw earlier in the week and particularly uh, over last weekend as well, when there really was a big rush on the roads across the country. Um, but even just speaking to uh, the, uh, the petrol uh, shop lady here, she was telling me that you know, it's been fairly busy uh, over the last week, but it has slowed down over the last few days. And I think that's really important to note that particularly outside of the capital, it necessarily hasn't been as busy. I was in London over the last couple of days and did see that it was fairly busy. A lot of petrol stations uh, had shut. There were huge queues down some of the main roads as well, causing a backlog in, in traffic jams. But here in places like Chester and uh, over in parts of Manchester where I've been uh, as well, there has been a, a limit on the, uh, the amount of petrol you can put in here, a £30 limit. They put uh, notices about why that is uh, happening here and people have been coming in, getting their fuel uh, and then going away. I heard one person when uh, he went inside to pay, he was like, sorry, I've gone over by 12 pence. They, they weren't bothered about that. That was fine. But uh, they're trying, obviously, to limit the amount of fuel that people come uh, uh, and get. But uh, hearing that, interestingly, from the Petrol Association, that signs are improving, when we listen to what the government had to say, Kit Malthouse actually this morning, the policing minister, coming on and saying that actually um, we potentially could see this issue uh, for the next week or so and potentially things could be quite busy over the next few days. Again, he probably was uh, pointing towards the situation in London, in central London, where we've seen some of those pictures, Sam. But it certainly is looking like outside of the capital and particularly here in the north of England that things are stabilising and that really is a good sign. I think one note of caution as well, we saw uh, last weekend there really was a, a lot of queues, quite uh, it peaked really last weekend. This weekend potentially we could see something similar as people gear up for the start of the week next week, but also people may be wanting to get away this weekend. So I think that is a note of caution for the weekend, but certainly things stabilising here in this part of the region and I'm sure other parts of the country are still clearly an issue in the capital, Sam.